Hey loves, welcome, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Claudia. If you're new here, subscribe down below and join the fam. Today we're going to be talking about how much it cost me to build a septic tank in the rural areas in Zimbabwe. So the first step is to dig the um, dimensions of your pit that you want. I've seen people commenting on my previous video that I should have looked into a bi biodigester, something like that. But um, I didn't find anyone who was experienced to do that. So that's why I opted for a septic tank. I opted for working with people that already reside in the area instead of me transporting someone from the town to the rural area. That would have costed me a lot of money because we don't have a structure on site where are they going to sleep if they don't finish? At least the people that are already there, they can do the work and not worry about where they're going to sleep because they're going home. The cost of material, the materials that you then use to build the septic tank, I'll leave everything in the description box below. Everything, including the prices, the mistakes that I made, okay? So for the bricks, I ended up getting them at a Chinese factory. I wanted the McDonald's one, but when I got there, they were out of stock. So they told me that I have to book the McDonald's bricks. They're called semi-common. I talked about them in a previous vlog. They are cheaper, but they, are, they work best for a septic tank because it's down there. Nobody's going to see them. So um, the bricks, our McDonald's, they're going to cost 10 cents per brick, which is, I mean, it's a steal. So you kind of have to book before you go ahead and do it. For cement, the cost of cement in town is probably $11 something. And the cost of cement at the area is $12. So I just thought, why not buy the cement the and they will just deliver for you for free. I also got my sand, the um, river sand, and what is the other one? I keep forgetting the name, but the other one, you guys know, you guys, yeah, you're building, you know, you know. As for quarry, there's people that sell there, and um, I'll only leave everything in terms of prices at the end of the video, and I'll also make a blog post for you guys to visit my website and go and have a look at the actual price. If you're a woman and you're building in Zimbabwe, just tell them that you are married and your husband is abroad. Because I've noticed that people tend to treat you better if they know that you are a married woman. That's just what it is. And I've been using it to my advantage. Everyone that I contracted, subcontracted, I told them that I'm married and my husband is the one that's going to come and check um, how good the work has been done and they've been doing an absolutely amazing job. I haven't had any problems with people stealing. People have been trustworthy for the most part. So if you're a woman, just tell them that you, your husband is there somewhere. I'm not saying I'm rich, but I'm saying I'm pre-rich. That is the reason why I'm doing this. The plan for the place is to have a small, sustainable, self-sustaining farm that has a garden that produces food for people that live in the farm and produce enough to sell to a small group of people. A small group of people that are interested in organic produce. It's going to be a very small space and uh, I'm not really looking at commercializing it because it's a very small space the other things like deformed bar chicken mesh and um, some ring force things like that i ended up getting them in town they're available at the hardware store but i didn't get the chance to go and see the actual ring force and but sometimes they'll sell you that rusted one i don't like it I know it works the same way, but I don't like it. I want my things done in a very professional manner, in a very neat and nice, just the way I want it, okay? 
So the septic tank is a 2.5 meter long, 2, 2, 2 meters wide, and 3 meters deep. It ended up costing me about 150 for labor, I think, including the digging and the digging of the sock pit. Remember, there is a septic tank and a sock pit. So the plumbing was separate and I had to buy those pipes that connect uh, into the, sep the septic tank into the um, sock pit and leave an opening for the receiving outlet from the house. If, if you get what I'm saying, I'll leave some diagrams right here to explain. If you're building and you're a busy individual, I'd recommend you look into having a project manager. My go-to platform for digital services is Fiverr. Fiverr is a freelance marketplace where you can get digital services from project management, content creation, virtual assistant, personal assistant, people that can help you manage your time wisely and focus on the things that you are good at and then delegate tasks to those particular individuals. I use Fiverr for both personal and professional projects. I recently got my website done. It's an e-commerce website. I got it done for $85. And guess how much I was quoted by another company? More than $600. And it had like many other add-ons that they would, they kept on adding on so i ended up going to fiverr and finding a cheaper alternative i love the website i cannot wait to launch so i'm so so excited if you want to join me and use fiverr click the link in the description box below the link is an affiliate link meaning that the channel gets a commission from your sale but it does not affect the price that you pay thank you so much for always supporting the channel let's get back to the video I did my research on Pinterest, YouTube, blog posts, uh, local builders, got quotations from different people, and then ended up settling with that guy. I saw some of his previous work, so I was very impressed. I would advise you guys to go with someone you've seen their previous work. Not just a picture, but the actual work that they've done in the septic tank is actually working. Because it's tricky, people can build a like a shoddy job, do a shoddy job down there, and then just cover it up. You'll find out later on in life that, oh my God, they really did a bad job. I hope everything went well, but I trust and believe that everything went well. The tank is almost complete, but the manhole was so expensive, you guys. I kept on finding those big, big manholes, and the septic tank is small. I didn't see the logic of having a big manhole on a small septic tank. I opted for a smaller manhole. Yeah, we don't have a manhole yet, so we just have a plastic and some cement to secure that plastic. So when we get our manhole, we just chip at that cement and place the manhole in its correct position. Most of material varies from place to place, different in different places in Zimbabwe. And you just have to be careful of people that are scamming you. How many people have been scammed of their money trying to build their house from the diaspora? Trying to build their house in Zimbabwe from the diaspora. How many people? I think we could name a few of our relatives that have been scammed. So just be careful who you trust with your money. And if you can, only make sure that things are done when you are around. So if you can, just try by all means. But if you cannot, maybe look for someone who's trustworthy. <laughs> They're very hard to find these days. The costs like miscellaneous costs, like transport, the cost of water. Remember, we don't have a bowl yet. So the cost of water, trying to get the water from the river, to the building site i had to pay a few ladies that were doing that and it's just a little bit of other things like small 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 details i have an excel sheet it's just that i am not opening it now but i will leave everything so that you guys can get a good idea of what went down during this small septic tank 
project. That is it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel and watching all the videos and watching the ads. Thank you so much. I love you guys.